Hey guys, welcome back. I am so excited because today I'm gonna be doing a little review on the new Laura Lee Cat's Pajamas palette. Now this, I actually just got this in the mail yesterday, so I'm super excited. Um, all the shades look so beautiful. Um, so I'm excited to dive in and um, do some swatches for you guys and create a fun look with this palette. This palette does retail for $40 and it looks somewhat like this. It's more on the purpley neutral, shade side and I believe that they are sold out already online but I know that it will be coming back and it will also be on the Morphe website on sale on October 27th I believe so that will be very exciting so if you weren't able to pick this up don't worry it will be on the Morphe website on October 27th so like I said you do get 10 beautiful shades in the palette and it does retail for $40 now I know that um a lot of people are saying, oh my gosh, this is such a high price point for just 10 shades in a palette. But she did mention in her Snapchat that these shadows were made here in the U.S. It is a little bit pricier to make eyeshadows here in the United States. But I guess we shall see if it is worth it or not. So I'm going to do some swatches for you guys. That way you guys can see the pigmentation of the shadows. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and swatch Bomb Diggity this middle shade right here okay so you do get pick up with it so there you go there's bomb diggity it's a pretty neutral shade I'm gonna swatch cookie which is this one right here Ooh, this one's super pigmented okay let me put the palette down Okay, so I mean they're pigmented. They're a lot more creamier than your normal palette would be. Okay, so let's swatch this one. This is Redonculus and it's like this really pretty copper shade right here. Holy moly, this one picks up a lot. So let's just go ahead and swatch it right here. Oh my god, this one is so pretty. Okay, so I mean, you do get a good amount of pigmentation in these, um, and like I said, they're really creamy. Um, they are really pretty, so let's just do one more. Let's go ahead and do out the other, which is this purple shade right here. Just swatch it right here. Yeah, these are really pigmented and they're really creamy. Um, I really like this one, it's super pretty. So I'm super excited to do an eye look with this, so let's just go ahead and jump right in. So I'm just going to go ahead and pin my hair back. And for the sake of this video, I did go ahead and already do um, my face makeup, and I went ahead and did my eyebrows. Everything's done. I just want to focus on the eyeshadow. Okay. So whenever I make an eye look, I like to go ahead and start with uh, highlighting like my brow bone. I don't know why, that's just what I always do. I always highlight my brow bone first and then just work my way towards the eye look that I wanna create. So um, first things first, I'm gonna go and start with this color right here. It is um, the shade Okie Doki. And it's just like this really um, neutral, almost like white shade. And I'm just using a Sephora eyeshadow brush. So I'm gonna just go ahead and holy moly, these are super pigmented. Go ahead and highlight that brow bone like that. I don't know why, I just always like to start like doing right underneath my eyebrow bone. It's just how I've always done it. I don't know why I'm weird. I know a lot of people work backwards, so. All right, so now that that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and dive into a Bomb Diggity, and that is this middle shade right here. It's a really nice neutral shade. I'm just using a Morphe M441 brush, and I'm just gonna go ahead and work it in my crease area. This is such a great neutral transition color. Oh 
All right, so there's Bomb Diggity. Like I said, it's a super nice, smooth, neutral transition shade. You can use it for any eye look. Just blend that a little bit more up so that that okie dokie shade doesn't look so white. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and use this shade right here, and it is the shade Cray Cray. I'm just using the same brush, and the Morphe M441. And I'm just gonna put that right in the same area, just maybe a little bit lower, and then just kind of blend that together. These shadows are really pigmented. You really don't need a lot for it to go a long way, which is really nice. That's typically what everyone wants in a palette, right? Cray Cray is really pretty too. Now, I'm not really sure what kind of look I'm really like going for, but I'm just gonna kind of wing it as I go. <laughs> All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and take my Morphe M433 brush, and then I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the shade Cookie, which is this one right here. With this color, I'm just gonna go ahead and put it here in my outer corner. I'm gonna tuck that right there and really deepen up the look. Super pretty. makes such a big difference. All right, so that's what we've got so far. So now that we've got that going, I'm gonna go ahead and dive in um, to this shade right here and it is the shade Scatterbrain. It's a really pretty like champagne golden color, really nice. Let's see how this one goes on the eyelid. I'm just gonna go right in here. Now, it does show up, but I want to kind of intensify the color, so I'm going to go ahead and go in with some Fix Plus so that it just makes it look a little bit more of its true glitz color. Okay, so that definitely did intensify the color a little bit. I'm gonna spray a little bit more Fix Plus on my brush. So as you can tell, Fix Plus definitely does intensify um, that glitter. I love that, this really pretty gold champagne color. It's really nice on the eyes. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take the shade Oddball, which is this shade right here. It's a really nice black color, so let's see how this blends out. Oh yeah, it's really nice, super black. I like it. definitely adds some drama to the eye if you're wanting to go towards more of a night look this is really pretty now I'm gonna go back in with my Morphe M441 brush this is the brush that I use to blend out all of those purple shades so with no excess product I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that over up top that way everything just looks smooth and without cuts and creases. Blend that all the way up there. Okay, 
So now I'm gonna go back in the palette and I am gonna go ahead and take the shade Cookie once again. But this time I'm gonna go in, go ahead and go in with a Morphe M432 brush, just like a flat definer brush. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the shade Cookie to go in under my lash line. Just like that. I typically don't go in with just a black eyeliner right on my waterline only because it makes my eyes water. I have no idea. I have always been that way. So I love this brush because I can go in with any eyeshadow and actually make it look like I have somewhat of like eyeliner on with just plain eyeshadow. I'm going to go ahead and take the shade Oddball once again with my flat definer brush. But this time I'm just going to go ahead and go in my outer lash line just so that it looks intense just like that I'm gonna do the same on the other eye and I'm just bringing that line up and just kind of blending it inwards and don't worry if that line is a little harsh because I'm gonna go back in and blend that all out I'm gonna go back in with my Morphe M433 brush and I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that line up so it's not looking too harsh and I didn't put any more eyeshadow on just kept that just the way that it was didn't add any more product onto the brush I'm gonna go ahead and go in with some intense black eyeliner and I have been loving this elf eyeliner it is super good and it's only three dollars hush honey honey I'm gonna go ahead and throw some false lashes on. And I'm just gonna go ahead and use the Studio Effects Lashes by Ardell. These are one of my favorites, so let me just go ahead and pop these on and I'll be right back. So I went ahead and popped on some false lashes and now that I see the look, I actually really do love it. I think it looks really great for an evening look. Whatever you wanna make it, you can definitely do with this palette. But I do wanna go ahead and go in just with a little bit more black on the outer bottom lash line. So let me just do that really quick. I'm just gonna go ahead and add a little bit more. There we go. I'm satisfied with that block. So now for highlight, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this Makeup Forever Pro Light Fusion Highlighter, and I believe it's in the shade Medium, but it is super pretty, I love it. I like this one because you can make it as intense, or you can go super light with it and make it really natural looking. But it's a really pretty golden highlight. I'm on the bridge of my nose and my cupid's bow. It's really pretty. Now for lips, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this NYX lip liner and it is in the shade Nutmeg. It looks like this. It's like a really pretty fall brown color. And it looks super intense, but I promise you it's it's really natural looking. And I'm gonna go ahead and take this Bare Minerals lipstick, and it is in the shade Honey Bee, and it is such a pretty neutral shade. It is so beautiful, I love it. It's super creamy, and I love it. It almost gives like a lip gloss effect, but it's in a stick. I'm gonna go ahead and fill in my lips with Honey Bee. You see? It looks super shiny, super silky, super glossy looking. And let me just add some more. And there you have the lips. Alright you guys, so there you have a look. 
I'm honestly really impressed with the Laura Lee Los Angeles Cats Pajamas palette. I think it's definitely worth it if you are looking for a small palette that you can take to travel with. I think this one is super great. It's got really good shades. You can make a really natural look. You can make a really, really exaggerated look. Congrats to Laura on her palette. I absolutely loved it. I think the shadows are great. They're blendable. They're super pigmented. It's such a great buy. And not to mention, this palette is super great for the fall right now. I have to say that my favorite color has to be Scatterbrain, which is this really pretty champagne gold shimmer shade. I think it's absolutely beautiful. It's what I used right in the center of my eyelid. Definitely get your hands on it. It will be on the Morphe website, like I said, on October 27th. I'm not quite sure when it will be restocked on the Laura Lee Los Angeles website, but hopefully it will be soon. That way you can go ahead and make some really fun looks with this palette. So I hope you enjoyed this review on the Laura Lee Cat's Pajamas palette because I sure did. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Now, if you would like to watch more reviews on new products like so, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye guys.